Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. This is not the video that I planned on giving you guys this week. Unfortunately, sometimes when you test products and you revisit them, you discover something that was missed the first time around. And yeah, that's what happened with my through night TT20. Now, everything I said in the original video still applies, but I found this out just a short time ago, purely by accident. So I've been using my through night TT20 at work, no issues, no problems. And here's the 21700 battery that comes with it. Now, it does have a plastic ring around the nipple. This is a proprietary battery. And when you have a plastic ring around the nipple, as you sometimes find with Thrunite and other Made in China brands, that ring, which, yeah, that means that this will only charge on certain chargers. On some, it just won't. But the good news is that when you get something like this, a proprietary battery like this, you normally get a charging slot right here. And with this through night model, yes, you do. Now, that is a USB-C charging slot. So, I made the mistake of thinking, oh, USB-C charging slot, no problem. You can get any universal cable that has a USB-C to USB wall plug. Yeah, it comes off, no problem. Or a wall plug that in this case connects to another USB-C. So this cable is USB-C on one end, USB-C on the other, and it connects into this wall plug very easily. And this is a universal plug, so no problem, right? Put it in there, charge up the battery that's inside the flashlight. No problem, right? Wrong. For those of you who saw my Eagle Tac review very recently, I mentioned that there was an issue in which you couldn't use just any cord, any plug to charge up the battery. You had to use Eagle Tacks. Well, imagine my surprise yesterday when I tried charging up this guy inside the flashlight like I was supposed to. And yeah, didn't happen. And at first, I thought that this white charging cable and plug, I thought maybe there was something wrong with it. After all, it had been very reliable, and I've been using it every single day at work. So all of a sudden, it crapped out on me? That doesn't make sense. So then I plugged in my phone, and guess what? It charged up my phone, no problem. Took my phone off. Sorry. Technical difficulties, they happen sometimes. 
took my phone off, plugged it back in, and nothing. See, this tiny pinhole is supposed to light up when it's charging. It's a steady red when it's charging and then becomes a steady blue color when it's done charging. If this does not light up, when you plug in the charging cable, it means it's not charging at all. So that's when it occurred to me. Yeah. You can't just use any universal charging cable. Doesn't matter if it's USB-C. You can't do it. Not on this thing. Not with this white plastic ring around the nipple of the battery. Now, I hadn't realized that because I was using a different charging cable and, in fact, a different plug. This plug, Motorola. This very flexible, short charging cable that stays put where you put it is from Nightcore. There you can kind of see the logo. Yeah. Um, so Nightcore with a Motorola telephone outlet plug. And this combination works great. No issues. No problems at all. Works absolutely great. The thing is, I have no clue why. Uh, through night, sure as hell didn't mention anything in the manual about, well, make sure you use this type of cable or that type of cable. No, nothing. Nothing. And again, keep in mind, technical difficulties. Let me just get this battery out of the way. Keep in mind, this is a Motorola cell phone wall plug. Motorola. This flex charging cable is from Nightcore. USB, USB, no issues there, USB-C over here. This works. Two different companies, but this works to charge up this flashlight when the battery is in it. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to put the freaking battery in here. Sick and tired of it falling over. Nice snug fit. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So unfortunately, through night, decided to pull an eagle tack. And yeah. Um, the charging cable that comes with this, no problem. You can use certain other charging cables with this, no problem. Just as long as the end you plug into here is a USB-C. But not all of them work. Why? Why? That, th that makes no sense. No sense. There is nothing special about this setup. The plug end is Motorola. This, okay, fair enough, this Shorter than normal length of cord is a flex cord 
that can be bent into a bunch of shapes, but you still have a USB-C on this end, USB on this one that plugs into this, which then plugs into a wall outlet. This works, no problem with that, but seriously? This doesn't? Why not? And yes, I did check the plug. It's not broken. I did check this USB-C end. I even pulled this USB-C end and checked it. That This works. When I'm charging up my phone, this universal charging cable and plug works. No issues. This works on my phone. No issues. Nothing's broken. Nothing's damaged. This also works for charging up my phone. And it works on that. But this does not. It doesn't work on that. Huh? Seriously? Come on. I mean, come on, Through Knight. Why did you do that? Why? You know, all I'm thinking is someone might get this as a gift or they get it for themselves. It's the only flashlight they have on them, which, by the way, is a bad idea. You should always have a backup, at least a small flashlight on your keychain. And it's amazing what they're doing with keychain lights nowadays. But imagine someone having one do-everything flashlight. The battery gets depleted. Maybe they're out on a road trip in their RV or they're far away from civilization. They take their universal cord and plug and they plug it in and nothing. Nothing. Yeah, no, I hate that. And, and I do mean hate. I know hate is a strong word, but I absolutely hate that. Okay. Everyone who is heavy into flash lights, they know, okay, with Eagle Tech, unless you're charging the battery on a separate charger, you have to use their charging cable. It's something that a lot of flashlight enthusiasts already know. It's a quirk with Eagle Tech lights. Okay, fair enough. Not everyone knows it. But a lot of flashlight enthusiasts do. You either have to get a dedicated charger or always carry around that particular Eagle Tack charging cable and plug. You just have to. But this? No. No one knows. I didn't know. I stumbled onto that by accident, and I'm glad I did. I mean, overall, do I still recommend the light? Yes, overall, I do. But, I mean, that is another disadvantage. And actually, that's worse than Eagle Tax disadvantage, because at least with Eagle Tac, or egg tack, if you lose that proprietary charging cable, no problem. Just get a separate charger, one that can charge up literally any 18650 lithium battery. Because unlike the Through Knight's 21700 battery, Eagle Tax battery they don't have a little plastic ring around the nipple. Eagle Tax 18650 is an ordinary 18650. 
Heck, you can use it in other lights. I have other 18650 flashlights. But not this one, not through night. No, you can't just buy a charger, any charger that accepts 21700 batteries and charge it up. No. Basically, you're stuck. You're stuck. That's it. You're stuck. With Eagle Tech, oh no, I lost the proprietary charging cable. What do I do? Do you have an ordinary 18650 charger? Yes, I do. Okay, toss it on there. You're good. Ah, oh, wonderful. With this, you're not good. Seriously. That, what the hell, Through Night? I like Through Night. I do. I had no clue that this was an issue with the TT20. But it is, and I'm letting you guys know, if you decide to buy one of these, yeah, make sure any extra charging cables you have will actually work with the battery inside this flashlight after you open up that charging flap. Test them out, because maybe the charging cable you have won't work. I learned that lesson. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I had extra lights on me just in case, but, I mean, when I was testing this guy out, I used one charging cable, and that one charging cable happened to work. It wasn't until... A short time ago that I used a different charging cable, a universal one, this one, that I found out, oh crap, not all of them work. I mean, seriously, come on, through night. I get it. You provide the user with a proprietary battery that maximizes this flashlight's performance. But what good is that if people can't use just any old universal USB-C charging cable? They have to experiment, find out which one works, and again... At least with the Eagle Tack, you can take the battery out, toss it onto any ordinary 18650 charging dock or charger. You can't do that with this because of the battery configuration. So you're stuck. I mean, honestly, that is going to be a deal breaker for some. And quite frankly, had I known that when I bought this light, personally speaking, personally, no, I wouldn't have bought this light. Who wants that headache? I don't. Some people are willing to put up with it. I don't want that headache. That, for me, would have been a deal breaker for some hey, no big deal, I've got a bunch of extra charging cables, I'll just test each one, and the ones that work, I'll put them aside for my wonderful do-everything EDC flashlight. Okay, fair enough. For me, deal breaker. So, personally, I'm stuck with this thing. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'm sorry about the bad news. When I was first testing out this flashlight, when I made the review video for this flashlight, I had no clue that this was an issue. None. So, there it is. Guys, please stay safe out there. It's still dangerous. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.